Sounds of the Ra Muay as the combatants go through this ancient ritual Muay Thai, dating back more than 1,000 years. And in the red corner, it's Nong Ho, Kat Yong Yut. 22 years of age, 5 feet 7 inches tall, 124 pounds weighing in. 42 professional fights in his career for 11 losses. That's Nong Ho in the red corner. And in the blue corner, it's Farsi Tong, Piyat Akun. 19 years of age, 5 feet 6 inches tall, 124 pounds weighing in. 34 professional fights for 10 losses only. That's Farsi Tong in the blue corner. Those Hong Kong crowns you see the uh, fighters wearing, strapped over their heads, are only used as the uniform for the the fighters when they enter the ring and when they do the Ramuai dance. But the Hong Kong crowns will be removed by their handlers and trainers uh, before the the contest begins. But those armaments that are strapped around their biceps will remain. They usually contain a sacred object which offers the fighters protection in the battle ahead. Round one is underway. Nongo in the red corner, Farsi Tong in the in the blue. Farsi Tong's 19 years of age. He's giving three years of ring experience away to Nongo. Nongo is getting towards the peak of his career. He's had only 11 losses in 42 professional fights. And he's been in particular good form of late. So Parsi Tong's going to have to do his very best if he's going to win this contest. Because he is against a, a very seasoned, tough and talented opponent. That's Nongo. Oh, no, there he is with these roundhouse kicks. But you look at the determination on Farsi Tong's face. Every indication that he's going to give Nongo a real test here today. And you can see that Farsi Tong just grinned at uh, Nongo as he went back to his corner after the first round. Round one complete. Now moving into the second round. The probing is usually confined to the first round and expect that the fireworks will erupt at any moment. Nongo starts off the second round with a low leg kick, more of a tap than a strike. As was that deep push kick at the uh, at the thigh, and the response from Farsi Tom is medium power, still holding back his best shots for later on. Nongo goes for the head high kick, falls short. Farsi Tong stands back, ducks, weaves, and then delivers the kick to the body. Low leg kicks by Farsi Tong, and the teep to the body by Nongo in the red. Nongo, low leg kick. Farsi Tong push back. Nongo with the head high kick. That one got through the guard of Farsi Tong. Both fighters facing each other off now in the centre of the ring and a thumping, slapping roundhouse kick that uh, was aimed at the outside of the thigh of Farsi Tong and landed just where he wanted to and now he's going in with hard head high kicks. So Nongo got his timing right and he's targeting on the uh, the areas that he wants to probe. And that's the outside thigh and the head of Farsi Tong. Good accuracy of these kicks by Nongo. That one aimed at the body. 
Now Farsi Tong under pressure from Nong Ho. Nong Ho puts the grappling irons on, fires in the elbow strike, and also delivers a knee. Good round by Nong Ho so far. Keeping the pressure right on Farsi Tong. Punch now by Nong Ho, scores. Advancing on the Farsi Tong. Head high kick by Nong Ho. Nong Ho again with those roundhouse kicks that are hitting the target zone. He's, he's moving him around from low leg to thigh to body and also head high. And he's doing it repetitively. And there he is again scoring with a kick to the body. Good round by Nong Ho in the second. And a disturbing uh, round for Farsi Tong, but he's gonna have to work out strategies he's gonna use to try to stop these uh, long range kicks that have proved to be so successful for Nong Ho in the second round. Round three coming up. Schindler for five. Five three minute rounds with a two minute break. Sort of a wild kick there by Long Ho. Missed his mark. Now he goes into grappling. Knee strike by Farsi Tong. Defensive knee by Farsi Tong as well. Farsi Tong frustrating Long Ho in the grapple. Then he reaches back and then delivers a solid knee strike. Grappling irons go on. Knee strike, Nong Ho. Farsi Tong maneuvers. Another knee by Nong Ho. Third knee by Nong Ho. Frustrating Farsi Tong. Farsi Tong being spun around. And now he barrels into Nong Ho in the ropes, but can't hold the movement for too long. Good knee now by Farsi Tong. So it really has been an even battle in the grapple but a long range that's where Nong Ho is certainly superior with his roundhouse kicks and he's also got the punches to go with it but once it gets into grappling formation well Farsi Tong in the blue corner can more than hold his own Roundhouse kicks now. This is really where Nong Ho has the advantage. He stands back and unleashes those kicks to the body like that. And he scores very well with them. Farsi Tong's strength is to try to get in close and go grappling. Farsi Tong is giving away one inch in height to Nong Ho, which makes it hard for him to grapple. But nevertheless, at long range, Nong Ho is definitely the superior of the two fighters. Elbow strikes by Nong Ho. Back comes Farsi Tong with punches. Elbows and punches by Nong Ho again. We'll change of tactics here as Farsi Tong decides to go punching in onto Nong Ho. And Nong Ho's got to respond with the same. It's a punch out here in this round as both fighters try to get the ascendancy over the other. Farsi Tong stalks, punches again. Farsi Tong's been cut. Farsi Tong's got a cut on the left eye, the side of his left eye, as he comes in punching hard onto Nong Ho. Nong Ho under a lot of pressure as, as a determined Farsi Tong charges forward, but he's got a cut there that's gonna to have to be looked at by his handlers. That was delivered by Nong Ho's elbow strike. There's the punches of Farsi Tong. A lot of solid, hard punches. And they did have uh, Nong Ho in a certain amount of trouble, but Farsi Tong did suffer that elbow. There it is, that's the elbow that probably did the damage. Although it looked like the elbow there was delivered more to the ear, but nevertheless, Farsi Tong has got a cut. And there it is, there's the elbow strike that probably did do it. Uh, the elbow. Onto Farsi on the side of his. There's a cut that.